Hello, welcome to Rocky by Chem series. In this edition of Mass Balance, we will focus on bypass. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly help me by subscribing. Thank you very much as you are doing so. So, in my previous video on mass balance, we learned that the evaporator system operates in such a way that mass in is equal to mass out. In other words, the mass of anything entering the system is equal to the mass of anything exiting the system. So, a situation whereby this rule is violated implies that there is something wrong with the evaporator. Please, if you still have a problem with understanding the operation of a simple evaporator system, kindly check out my previous video on mass balance to enhance your understanding before we continue from here. So, let me continue with my recap. We learned from our video on basic operation of mass balance that when you have your simple evaporator system like this, the total balance equation is written as F is equal to W plus P. That is, the mass of anything entering the evaporator system should be equal to the mass of anything exiting the evaporator system. So as we can see from here, the F here as the feed is pointing towards the evaporator. That is why it is found on one side of the equal sign. And then the sum of the water and then the product that's the w plus p should also be on the other side of the equal sign since they are moving out of the evaporator we also learned that component balance refers to the balance that we write with respect to a particular component so here we can write component balance for solids as F multiplying 0 0.01 to be equal to W multiplying 0 plus P multiplying 0 0.4. That is, we are multiplying the mass of each of the each of the feed and then the water and then the product by the percentage of the components that we are considering in each of them. So we saw that we have one percent of solids in the feed that is why we multiply the F by 0 0.01 and also we multiply the w by zero because we assume that there is no solid component in the water and also we found that the components of solids in the product is 40 percent so if you are to do component balance with respect to solids then we have to multiply the 40 by 0 0.4 so this is how component balance and then total balance equations are written please if you still have a problem kindly check out my video on mass balance i have put the description to that video i have put the link to that video in the description kindly do what to check it out now in certain situations when the raw material is concentrated by feeding it directly into the evaporator some volatile constituents evaporate with the water leaving a final product with a flat taste in other words a taste that is not desirable so for instance let's consider this scenario there might be a situation whereby some components in a fresh orange juice will evaporate with the water and hence the final concentrated orange juice would be having a flat taste and that taste is not desirable so when you try to evaporate your feed to obtain a concentrate that is not a desirable taste we that is not of a desirable taste or that is not of a desirable product we try to overcome this particular problem by using an evaporator system that operates by means of bypass so when we talk about this kind of evaporator system that is the one here with the bypass what we are doing here is that we are trying to bypass a proportion or a fraction of the feed and then ev uh, evaporate some selected portion of the feed so after evaporating some portion of the feed to obtain the concentrate we then mix it up with the bypass fraction to form our final product so this is an easiest way of overcoming the problem whereby evaporation of your raw material directly brings about production of undesirable products so by means of this particular system we will be able to overcome that particular challenge so the whole idea is that after evaporating the proportion of the feed that entered the evaporator the bypassed feed that is the feed that we can see here will then meet it at this particular point and then mix up to form our final product we should always take note that the percentage of solids 
in the feed is always equal to the percentage of solids in the bypass this is because it is the same feed that we bypass a certain portion so there is nothing or there is no difference between the feed here and then that of the bypass most of the questions they won't tell you the percentage of solids in the feed they will just make mention of the percentage of solids in the feed but not that in the bypass so always take note that the percentage of solids in the feed is always equal to that of the bypass here so after this we can then move on to write our total balance equations that is the sum of the masses of anything entering the evaporator should be equal to the sum of masses of anything exiting the evaporator so as we can see the feed here is moving towards the evaporator so that is why it is here as f and it should be equal to the arrow coming out of the evaporator so w plus what plus p here don't mistakenly bring the b here that is the bypass shouldn't be part of the total balance equation that we are considering if we are if you are considering the evaporator as, as our point here we won't be able to include bypass here because the bypass is neither moving towards the evaporator nor moving away from it that is why the total balance equation doesn't contain bypass in it and if you are to write component balance as we as i made mention of it previously it is just a matter of multiplying the percentage of the component that you are, you are considering with each of the feed the water and then that of the product so i assume that we have 10 percent solid that is why f is multiplying 0.1 always tr make sure that we convert the percentage to decimal form before we use it for the calculation and also i said earlier that we always take it as there is no solid component in the water that is why we bring zero here or that is why we multiply it by zero and that of the product here too i assume to be 45 percent that is why it is represented as 0 0.45 so aside writing balance equations with respect to the evaporator we can also consider the point we can also consider the point and then perform calculations so as i said the take home message on bypass here is that in bypass a fraction of the feed diverts the evaporator and then mix up with the output stream from the evaporator to form our final product so that is what you have to take note here when it comes to bypassed questions so as i said after performing balanced equations with respect to the evaporator region we can also perform mass uh, total balance and then component balance at the point so as we can see here the point of mixing that is the point whereby the bypass and then the concentrate were meeting up i call that point the point of mixing because that is where they are meeting to mix up to form our final product so we can perform balance at that particular point of mixing so when we consider the point of mixing all arrows moving towards the point should be equal to all arrows moving away from the point so as we can see the concentrated product that directly came out of the evaporator is moving towards the point whereas the bypass product is also moving towards the point and they are going to mix up to form our product which is moving away from the point so if you are to write a total balance equation then our c plus b that is arrows moving towards the point should be equal to the p that is the arrow moving away from the point and we can also get component balance equation with respect to that by multiplying the percentages of the solids in each of them that is c multiplying 0 0.6 plus the b multiplying 0 0.1 and then the p multiplying 0 0.45 so basically this is the general overview of how we perform calculations with respect to bypass questions so let's consider this particular worked example let's consider this particular worked example so fresh orange juice contains 12 percent by weight and then concentrated orange juice contains 42 percent by solid initially a single evaporating process was used for the concentration but the volatile constituents of the juice escaped with the water leaving the concentrate a flat taste 
The present process overcomes the problem by bypassing the evaporator with a fraction of the fresh juice. The juice that enters the evaporator is concentrated to 58% solids and the product is mixed with the bypass fresh juice to achieve the desired final concentration of the solids. Calculate the amount of concentrated juice produced by 100 kg of a fresh juice fed into the process fed to the process and the fraction of the feed that bypasses the evaporator. Let me take the last part again. Calculate the amount of concentrated juice produced per 100 kg of a fresh juice fed to the process and the fraction of the feed that bypasses the evaporator. Kindly pause the video and then write this question. And also, if you have not subscribed, kindly help me by subscribing as we are going to continue with the solution. So, with a solution, I have divided it into three main sessions. The first session here is that we are going to use a diagram to represent the whole information found in the question. So, from the question, we had the feed to be equal to 100 kg and then the percentage of solids was 12%. I have just written that as 0.12, that is I have converted it into 8 into decimal form and also the percentage of solids in the product was found to be 42% and then the concentration of solids that's, that was part of the concentrate that came out of the evaporator was also found to be 58% that is 0.58 and as I said the bypass here they won't tell you the percentage of it but so far as it is the same it is the same feed that we bypass the portion of it the percentage of solids in the the percentage of solids in the feed should always be equal to the percentage of solids in the bypassed portion so this is how the diagram should look like now let's move on to the step two in step two we are going to perform total balance and then component balance of solids at the evaporator so this is the diagram and if you are to perform total balance i said from the beginning that f should be equal to w plus p that is the feed is equal to water and then the product mass in equal to mass out so as we had the mass of the feed to be 100 then 100 is going to be equal to w plus p and this forms our equation one now let's move on to perform component balance so for the component balance on solids we are going to get f multiplying 0.12 that is the percentage of solids in the feed was found to be 12 percent so f multiplying 0.12 and it should be equal to w multiplying zero that's the proportion or the percentage of solids in the water should be zero because we assume that there is no solid found in the water and then the percentage of solids in the product was found to be 42 percent hence p will multiply 0.42 so we are going to get 100 multiplying 0.12 because we know f to be equal to 100 and it should be equal to 0 plus 0.42 p so when you calculate it you are going to get p to be equal to 28.57 kilogram that is the product the mass of the product is found to be 28.57 kilogram by finding p we can fix it into equation one to solve for our w that is w will be equal to 100 minus 28.57 that is 71.43 kilogram so we have the mass of the water coming out of the evaporator to be equal to 71.43 kilogram now let's move on to calculate the concentration or the mass of the concentrate that exited the evaporator that is what is of interest as well as the mass of the bypassed portion so as i said we are going to perform that is the step three we are going to perform total balance and then component balance on the solids at the mixing point that is at the point whereby the mixing took place so if you are to take off that particular portion this is how it looks like that is the c here is moving towards the point and then the bypass portion too is also moving towards the point for them to mix up to give us our final product so our total balance is going to be arrows moving towards the point to be equal to arrows moving away from the point so you are going to get c plus b to be equal to p so c plus b uh, we know p to be equal to 28.57 that is from the previous calculation and hence c plus b will be equal to 28.57 and this forms our equation one now we can move on to calculate or to perform component balance on solids so the component balance as i said is just performed by multiplying the percentage of solids by that of each of the components or by that of each of the 
um compositions that you are talking about so we are just going to multiply the c by the percentage of solids that is 0 0.58 plus b by percentage of the solids in it the 0 0.12 and it should be equal to p multiplying percentage of solids in it so we are going to get 0 0.5 ac plus 0 0.12 b to be equal to 28.57 multiplying 0 0.42 we know p to be equal to 28.57 so by computing it we are going to get 0 0.5 ac plus 0 0.12 b to be equal to 11.9994 and this forms our equation too so by getting two equations then we can solve them simultaneously so we have c plus b to be equal to 28.57 and this is our equation too that is 0 0.5 ac plus 0 0.12 b to be equal to 11.994 so from equation one we know c to be equal to 28.57 minus b that is we just made c the subject of equation one and then put the c into equation two so by computing the whole of this we are going to get our b to be equal to 9.94 that is the amount bypass is equal to 9.94 kilogram the question asks us to calculate the percentage bypass so if you are to calculate the percentage bypass it's just a matter of dividing the mass of the bypass portion by the mass of the feed and then multiplying it by 100 that is why we have 9.94 over 100 times thousand and this is equal to 9.94 percent so we can then fix the value of b into c equal to 28.57 minus b to solve for our c and hence we can say that the mass of the concentrated product produced is equal to 18.63 kilogram so this is basically how the calculation is performed kindly check out this particular trial question and after completing it comment with your answer i will check it for you and then tell you whether you are right or you are wrong please check out my next video on recycle my next video will be on recycle thank you very much for watching this particular video and please don't forget to subscribe see you another time